Hey guys, what's going on? Carter here. Here is the long-awaited, or shortly awaited, unboxing of the Cold Steel 4 Max. This is the knife I alluded to in my video yesterday that I was waiting for. I've had it on pre-order for like eight months. I uh, forgot I had it on pre-order, and then I get the email that it's shipping, and I'm like, oh crap. Um, I honestly, I didn't know if this knife was ever going to actually see the light of day. Um, I thought this may have been one of those pipe dreams that was never going to happen. This is pretty monumental because it is a USA made cold steel knife for one. Two, it's kind of an ultra premium line of knives from cold steel which they have not done in a very long time. And three, it is almost an exact copy of uh, Andrew Demko's 4MAX custom knife. There's only a few minor differences uh, but it's very very similar. Uh, I didn't do the unboxing video because I wanted to check it out. I couldn't wait uh, to get in front of the camera. And I'm kind of glad I did because there's an issue with this knife. And I'll talk about that here shortly. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. But uh, let's move on with a look at this here knife. So it comes in a pretty standard box actually. I was curious what it was going to come in. If it was going to come in some sort of nice presentation box or just kind of a standard box. And it actually just comes in a standard, uh, standard box here. Now here is the knife in this foam insert right here. Uh, not a lot of uh, hoopla with it, no paperwork or anything. It's just kind of in there. Um, and here it is. Now this has undergone quite a few changes. Uh, recently the blade completely changed shape um, from kind of a full flat grind to this kind of three quarter uh, spear point, dagger point type deal here. Uh, they also changed the finish from satin to stonewash that you can see here. The blade steel is the same. Uh, CPM 20 CV made in USA. Cold steel made in USA. That is pretty crazy. Uh, G10 contoured blasted handles right there. Titanium liners. Titanium pocket clip. Uh, triad lock which is very very Smooth. The action on this is very nice. The triad lock is easy to disengage. Uh, very surprised with that. Easy to disengage. Very nice. You can see kind of the extra detail they have. They have the serrations in here, kind of what uh, Andrew Demko does on his custom knives right there. Um, you have these divots in here, kind of uh, jimping, I guess, really fat, kind of jimping right there that carry through the liners and the scales and the, the backspacer. Really thick steel right there. This is probably what, seven millimeters, six, seven millimeters. Um, if I do a more in-depth video of this, I'll, I'll get weights and measurements and stuff like that. You know, not quite centered, a little bit off right there. The, uh, the grinds, sorry about the wind guys. The grinds are uh, seemingly pretty even. I've only checked this out the last couple of minutes. Uh, pretty even. Thumb studs are all blasted. The uh, lock is blasted. Everything is nice and uh, pretty well finished. There's some marks on the pocket clip which is disappointing right out of the box. You can see right there it looks like it's actually looks like it's been carried. Uh, but this is literally I got this 10 minutes ago checked it out and uh, I'm doing the video and the, the pocket clip is all marked up uh, but the real issue is the edge on this um, you can see all the nicks I mean it is completely destroyed all the way across um, you can see up here all down here really destroyed um, all rolled I mean you could feel catch it on your finger it's it's completely completely rolled over so maybe this way you can yeah you can see those glimmers right here those are all rolls in the steel right there so that's extremely disappointing that this would make it out of uh, QC uh, there's nothing in the handle that I can see that would cause this so it happened uh, you know either before it was assembled or after it was assembled something like that um, nothing in the handle seems to cause the issue plenty of, of space down there so that's you know that's a bummer um, so the real question is what am I going to do with this thing uh, am I going to keep it am I going to you know sharpen it uh, none of the none of the damage is like super extensive you know uh, sharpening it would sharpen it right out uh, it's more of the principle of the thing and obviously if I'm going to carry it I don't really care about the pocket clip marks. 
Uh, but once again, it all kind of comes back down to uh, just principle. You know, a, li a knife of this caliber uh, should come better than that, uh, especially the edge. I mean, that's, you know, the one thing that's sacrilegious with knives is the edge. The edge has to be good. People will forgive fit and finish. They'll forgive bad ergonomics. They'll forgive all kinds of things. But if you order a knife and the edge is all jacked up out of the box, uh, that is the one thing you got to get right with knives, guys. You have to have a good edge on the knife, especially when it's something um, of this magnitude. But the reason why I'm not completely decided yet is because I wasn't... Before I even saw the issues, I wasn't completely decided if I wanted to keep it anyways. This is a huge knife. I did put it in my pocket for like a second, and it is a monster. Uh, we all knew it would be a monster. It has a six inch handle, four inch blade. I mean, it's it's a big beast. It's heavy. It's like 10 ounces or oh, 9.2 ounces, actually. Everything's right here. 9.2 ounces, six inch handle, 10 inches overall, 4.5 millimeter blade thickness. I was way off, way off on the thickness. Um, so it's, it's a huge knife, um, and obviously with the fact that it would have to be sharpened and it's already got marks on it, it would mean it would need to be a carrier for me, and so if I'm not going to carry the knife, uh, if I was just going to keep it, I guess, just to keep it, um, I wouldn't want it in this condition, so it's either going back to the dealer or I'll make the decision to, uh, to carry it and and use it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, guys. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, I may do another video on this tomorrow, kind of a more in-depth video on some things, or I may not. Uh, kind of depends on how I feel. So you guys take it easy. I'm out of here. Later.